hello guys welcome to my channel so today i want to tell you guys about how i take notes on my ipad with a good note but before we starting this is a wallpaper that i made myself with a procreate you can download it on my website page i will put the link on the description box and this is my side display you can easily download tap on the image and select the download icon that's it okay enjoy the video okay let's jump to the good notes the first thing first you must have the app you can buy the app with $12.99 or rupiah. and good note is the one of many app that allows you to make a smart note digitally on your ipad and this is the interface when you open the app the good notes has a conventional interface and then a notability in this part because as that you guys can see good notes still use the old style folders and the notability has used the modern headings but i really prefer on good notes because they have a many preference so we can adjust our style to writing a smart note but when you choose the simply way to taking notes you can try notability then for start writing we must tap on this plus icon and there is an icon you can add notebooks or folders and blah 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 and there is a quick note for making a note quickly without a setting preference and in this pop-up option we can select our option and we can add our custom cover i will tell you guys later how to add our custom cover and here in the setting of the paper we can use the template here and setting the paper color into black and the advantages of using the black color is you can writing with the vibrant color and it will make your notes look more aesthetic we try first on this black color and here is the writing space on this document and i will tell you guys the minus of get black colors paper on good notes is you can't put some highlighter on it because it will become an invisible but okay we'll begin from the right side in here there is an option for you to setting the pages as you can see here you can change the template when you has the writing on it and you can choose the scrolling direction either you choose a vertical scrolling or a horizontal scrolling which one you are comfortable with then this option you can add your smart stylus but it seems that only apple pencil that can connect with this app and the second is a writing gesture it's very important for this app to recognize your writing style and synchronize it to palm rejection and tilt mode on this app and then this icon is for hide the menu so you can have a wider writing space and this icon to add page there are two ways to add page first if you want different template or you want to add on before or after of the page or if you want to add some image or other document there's a difference between this add image in here and in here when you add image and the add page button yeah exactly you will get the image on full new page but if you want just put your image on your default page you can use this image icon on the menu and the second way is if you just running out the writing space on this page and you must add some page you can simply drag it up page until this icon appear and it will automatically add the page and if you want to put your custom cover first thing is you have your custom cover in pdf format so it will have the same resolution with the other page because if you import the img or png format it will not same with the other even you put your image on the same size and here i made my cover on procreate and i simply export to the pdf 
and choose best and I never save it because when you choose the PDF it can go straight open on GoodNotes and the easiest way is to open the document first on GoodNotes the document that you want to import the cover to and move to the left side this icon for export the document and you can mirror the document into the presentation and this icon is for favorite it works like the red ribbon on the books for mark the important things and this one is the icon to find word on this document i think this is the interesting feature and in this icon, it's make easier for us to look for the entire document and we can select the page and do some rotating, export the view page or delete it. And you can add some outline here, it works like a table of content on the books. Okay, now jump to the main feature of the app. Okay, this icon can use when you have a presentation. It works like pointer. You can select the pointer style, just the red dot, or you can use light line and voila. Wow. This is. And this is the icon for add some text. If you want to type in, you can change the preference in this side. Okay, and this side is for a camera icon to capture an image live with your iPad camera or you can use this icon to put some image on your document and this is lasso tool you can choose which one you want to select and you can simply move them or you can tap for screenshot, resize, color you can change the color in here Or this one is convert is to convert your writing into the text cut copy or delete it and this is this is form icon to make some line or form more precisely and you can't draw some wavy line with these tools because it will automatically become a straight line this is the highlighter tools you can put some highlighter on your pdf or document and the interesting things in here is the highlighter automatically move to the back of the words so that will not bother your writing and like the highlighter on the paper it little bit change the pen colors you can choose the color in this side and the size in here and this is my favorite feature on these good notes because they give you a three preference that you mostly use you can setting how small that you usually use how medium and big pen and you can also change the color that you mostly use this is like a simple shortcut for me and this one is the eraser tools you can settings which one you want to delete it and this is the pen tools you can choose the type of the pen like a ball pen fountain pen a pen okay we try this first the fountain pen this one and the ball pen and the brush pen and if you want have a good proportion note, we must use these tools. This is a zoom tool that allows you to read more comfortable and proportional. Even though you can just zoom the paper with a pinch, but you will distress to move when the writing has read this side. And the second, you can clearly look your writing proportion in this entire page. And it's difficult to read small without zoom it. So I recommend it to use these tools. Okay, I will add some sticker here. Like this. And put some sticker in the same way like you add some image. Okay, here is the important things that the image only can crop with the image tool if you tap on the image. It can be cropped with the laser tools, okay? You just need to tap the image to move 
or resize and even cropping the image. The image can crop a rectangle tool or a freehand. And I usually use this freehand. Then you can copy the images with the simply tap and hold and little bit drag until the green plus icon appear and release. Voila, it comes to. We can add the sticker on this page to make our page more aesthetic. Okay, because this day is a Friday and because this is the first day of May, which means it's payday. Yay! So I will write in here a payday. And because I haven't money stickers, so let's make it first. I usually made the sticker with the Procreate app. this and export them into the PNG with no background and save the image into our device. Now we'll go back into the good notes. Then we can put the sticker into the page with this image tool like I said before. And crop and use this money sticker on it and I will write what I want to or the things I need to buy in here and in here this is the day that i must laundry in the bed cover so i will take the note sticker with this cute tape and crop and put on here And start writing well it's really easy to use this app and we can more creative and paperless and the paperless it will little bit help our environment don't forget to stay safe uh, and stay home and hope this video helped you and sorry if my explanation a little bit confusing you but i hope not <laughs> okay guys thanks for catch me till the end of the video don't forget to subscribe for get latest update from me and like the video if you like it and feel free to comment below i will see you guys on another video bye